Plenty of surprises in match day number 18 to talk about it. But guess what, folks? Match day number 19 is just around the corner and it's Boxing Day. We'll talk about it next. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video. This time looking forward to match day number 19 in the 2018-2019 Premier League season. Now we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button and bang up to date with all things Premier League related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we get into match day number 19, we're going to take a look back at my results and the predictions, see how many I got right, and of course, how many I got wrong. And I'm telling you, not the best of weekends for me, but hopefully we can do it better this time out. Okay, then, before we get into new ones, let's take a look at the last weekend's matches. I've got some absolute shockers here. Wolves uh, took on Liverpool, and again, they opened up with a 2 0 away win. I absolutely thought that Wolves would get something at home, 1 1. So I got this one absolutely wrong, and believe me, I can. Uh, not the greatest predictions for me this weekend. Uh, Arsenal took on Burnley, uh, and again, I obviously going to go with Arsenal when this one. 3 1 was the final score. I went for a 3 0, so not too far off, not too far off in the Huddersfield took on Southampton. Southampton looks to have turned a corner at the moment with a new manager. 3 1 winners uh, away from home. Huddersfield, for me, I thought they were going to edge it, or at least edge a point 2 2. Uh, so I got that one absolutely wrong. Bournemouth up against Brighton as well. Bournemouth still chipping away, getting some points on the board. 2 0 winners for Bournemouth up against Brighton. I, in fact, went for Bournemouth as well. 3 1 winners. So I got that one. Pretty close to the mark. 3 1. Uh, correct result, incorrect scoreline. Now, here we go. Shocker of the weekend. Manchester City against Crystal Palace. Ended up being a 3 2 win in favour of Crystal Palace at the Etihad. Uh, I have, in fact, it, um, got the same amount of goals, right? I got that one, bad boy, right? I opted for a 4 1 home win for Manchester City. So, absolutely got that one. I think the majority of pundits out there got that one wrong. Newcastle United up against Fulham ended up being a 0 0 draw. Everyone got a point. No goals, though. In fact, went for Newcastle on this one. 2 1 win uh, at St. James's Park. But got that one wrong, folks. Chelsea up against Leicester. Another surprise in the class. Two uh, former Premier League winners duking it out. End up being a 1 0 win for Leicester City over Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I opted for a 3 1 win in favour of Chelsea. West Ham took on Watford as well. Bit of a London derby this one, so to speak. Uh, Watford picked up a surprise 2 0 away win at the old uh, new stadium at West Ham. And I, in fact, went for a 2 1 win in favour of West Ham. So completely uh, well out of the dark on that one. Cardiff City took on Manchester United. Hello, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer with a 5 1 win. Monster class display there. I, have, in fact, pretty. 2-1 win for Manchester United. So I got the correct result, just not the right matter. Goals and Everton up against Tottenham. What a game this was. Eight goal thriller. 6-2 in favour of Tottenham. In fact, it went for a 2-2-1. So uh, again, I got this one absolutely horrendously wrong. Uh, moving on to the old Boxing Day fixtures. Follow them up against Wolves. Uh, two teams have got promoted last time out. Uh, I'm going to go with a 2-1 shock home win for Fulham to maybe just get, give themselves a bit of a boost because right now they are bottom of the table. 10 points on the board. Level with Huddersfield. Uh, Burnley. They're not doing themselves any favours right now. They're also in the relegation though. Up against Everton. I see them getting something on the old Boxing Day to my disgust. They'll play off a 1-1 draw up against Everton. Uh, Liverpool up against Newcastle. Obviously, Liverpool flying high. Yet to taste defeat. Um... Uh, I see them continuing this and with a big fat 3-0 win over the Geordies at Anfield. Crystal Palace up against Cardiff. Now Crystal Palace are going to have the spring in their step after beating Manchester City. Uh, they're currently coming to this game on 14th spot. Cardiff City are on 17th spot. So I'm going to go with the home win. 2-1 win at Selhurst Park in favour of Crystal Palace. Leicester City will take on Manchester City again. Two former Premier League winners duking it out. Uh, I think Manchester City will bounce back a little bit here. 3-1 win away from home. But if anyone, if there's any time to beat Manchester City, it will be in this game. So let's see. Let's see. You have a chance uh, to do one over. Tottenham obviously against Bournemouth. Obviously Tottenham doing okay in third spot at the moment. Um, just behind Manchester City. Obviously might be some points different between those. But up against Bournemouth who are also doing well. Uh, it's going to be close to a point. But in the end I think Tottenham will come out comfortable winners. 3-0 win at home. Uh, Manchester United up against Huddersfield. Again Ole Gunnar Solskjaer kicking some ass in his debut match as manager. I see him continuing that vein. 3-0 winners against Huddersfield. At the, uh, the Theatre of Dreams. Uh, moving on to Brighton up against Arsenal. Tough on this one. Obviously, Brighton not doing the best at the moment. Uh, 13th spot for them. Arsenal coming into this game in fifth. Uh, but I see Arsenal picking up an away win. 2-1 win at the Amex. Uh, Watford take on Chelsea. Another bit of a London... <coughs> a Lon another bit of a London crash, this one. But I, st I think Chelsea will bounce back. 2-0 win at Vicarage Road to give themselves... Three points, much needed as well if they're going to keep a hold of fourth spot. And wrapping up the old Boxing Day fixtures, it's Southampton up against West Ham United. Now Southampton turned the corner uh, recently, obviously back-to-back -back wins, Arsenal and Huddersfield. They'll continue it, make three wins on the spin. 
up against West Ham as they pick up three points and three goals and a free two win. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep you bang out to date with all things Premier League related, Blackburn Rovers related, woo, football related. We're going to all here under one roof. And also make sure you check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, it is all in there. And once again, make sure you drop your own predictions down in the comment section and we'll have a little look and see how many you guys can get right and how many you can get wrong. See if you can beat me because I'm sure I'm pretty much up for grabs now after last weekend's shambolic uh, predictions. And again, um, this is going to be the last time I will see you before Christmas Day. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I will be back. Uh, predicting games for the next time out, probably on the 26th, 27th, something like that. So don't go anywhere. A lot of Premier League football coming right around the corner. It is the mad old Christmas season in England. Anyway, until then, I hopefully you'll have a good old time, good predictions and all that kind of good stuff. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.